So far, we have talked about how the food we eat can instigate the many symptoms of metabolic syndrome, obesity, type 2 diabetes, and the fatty liver disease found in fat and skinny alike. Mainstream science is starting to accept the fact that they may need to add one more. In some circles, they are calling it type 3 diabetes. So this relationship between diabetes and Alzheimer's, uh, in terms not only of risk of developing Alzheimer's, but the actual mechanisms in the brain that relate to insulin, has caused people like myself to actually call Alzheimer's disease type 3 diabetes. Type 3 diabetes uh, is a term that's been applied basically to this development of glycosylated end products in the brain, which is related to Alzheimer's. We're now describing Alzheimer's disease, one of the most heartbreaking conditions on the planet as type 3 diabetes as a consequence of this sugar and starch poisoning. We're um, having uh, problems in the central nervous system due to um, inappropriate signaling and low levels of inflammation that is due specifically to this carbohydrate-loaded diet that we're consuming.